Today we're at Sajik Stadium. I'm going to show you what it's like to go to a baseball game here in Korea and hunt down all the most unique, delicious foods they offer here. Right here, we have our blood sausage. Tell me, which American stadium has blood sausage? I'm going to go with none of them. Now, if you go to a baseball game or a football game in the USA, everything is crazy expensive. Beer could cost $8, $10, even $12. And the food is insanely overpriced. But here in Korea, food inside the stadium costs pretty much the same amount as it would cost outside the stadium. Beyond that, they have an incredible, huge variety of foods to choose from. You ready? Let's play ball. Our ticket was already purchased online. We go here to the smart ticket machine to actually retrieve the physical ticket. Hmm? One, two, so. Oh, I can hear the crowd right now. We're late. One, one. Tickets here. Let's move. What's wild is I see tons of people here with their own drink, beer, boxes of pizza and chicken. They're bringing all their own stuff actually into the game. I can't believe that's allowed. Scan in, and we're good to go. So that is wild. We just went through a gate like going into a subway station. There's no security, there's no metal detector, there's no drug sniffing dogs. In the USA, there would just be a lot more hassle to get in. Right here is a stadium. It is quickly filling up right now. And this place is brightly lit up and highly populated with people. The game just started. We're gonna find our seat soon. First, I wanna get my first meal. Let's go. There are tons of food stalls here in different places to choose from. We've come to the first one that I've seen with a bunch of kind of traditional Korean street foods right here. They've got odang or fish cakes. Here they have dakboki with odang inside. Here they have some kind of a fried squid or octopus. Here they have octopus and then here they have ojinga. This is squid. I'm ordering the fried squid. She's cutting it right now. And then she just asked me what kind of sauce I want. I asked for the garlic powder. I've ordered a cup of octopus. Oh, she gives me a container to put everything inside of. Kapsamda. Baseball is happening behind me, and all I care about is what's in front of me right here. This is my first course. At the last minute, I couldn't help it. I had to get one of these. This is a duck pokey with odang right here. This was 6,000. Let's start with that. This is a pounded rice cake. It almost looks like a marshmallow. It's so big and thick. Mm -hmm. Nice and chewy. Throw back some fish. Insanely salty, spicy, and delicious. I love it. This, I believe, to be octopus. Mm. A little seafoody in a good way. Nice and chewy. That's good drinking food. Finally, right here, it looks like some kind of a funnel cake covered in powdered sugar, but no, that is garlic powder on top of fried squid legs. It looks awesome. Oh yeah, insanely crunchy, chewy on the inside. It's salty and sweet at the same time. That's a really nice combination that I did not expect. Listen, you go to New York, you get powdered donuts. You come here to Korea, you get powdered squid. What I can say is all this is making me incredibly thirsty. Time to go grab a beer. If you've ever been to a stadium and thought they didn't have enough options, how about a whole freaking 7-Eleven in the stadium? Here, in the cooler, they have beer. Big tall boys, and check out the price on these. 3,001. $2.25 for a tall boy beer. That is a ridiculous price. You would pay at least four to six times that in the USA. Here, if you want to get drunk, you can get drunk. So let's get some of these. Check it out, we found another food right here. This looks awesome, this is gokba. This is basically pig shanks. It looks delicious, I wanna order that. And then right here, they even have blood sausage. This is called sundubu. Sunde. It's called sundae, not sundubu. Sundubu is a soup. A jokba, hana chuseo. Hago sundae, hana chuseo. So the price of that is 23,000 won. Now comes the fun part where I actually try to find my seat. Three, two, two. Right here. Our second course is right here. This is like a whole freaking meal. Right here, we have our blood sausage. Put some spicy sauce in there too. Tell me, which American stadium has blood sausage? I'm gonna go with none of them. All right, here we go. Cheers. Wow, it's so gummy on the inside. That's so strange. It has a little bit of a funky gamey taste, but not too bad. It's basically rice and blood on the inside with a pig intestine for the casing. Let's give it a little bit of a dip. Super salty, really spicy. That is beer food, my friend. Luckily, I've got a beer. So this is pig foot or pork trotter. They've given me a lot of stuff right here. Some pickled radish, a salad, some jung sauce, and then some chilies right here. This is what I really care about. It's already kind of cooled down. 
heavy, fatty, really yummy. It's not really flavorful. It's just a nice texture and like a cold cut. But if you put on a chili, oh, I'm not putting that on. But if you put on some garlic, if you dip it in this sauce, that, my friend, is where you find the magic. I never eat raw garlic except for when I'm in Korea, and I love it. My wife, not so much. What's fun about eating here and doing the show at a baseball game is I feel like everyone's cheering for me, like, come on, Sonny, drink more beer. Okay. It's amazing being delusional. I recommend it to everybody. From here, I'm gonna finish up this food. I'm gonna go inside, try to find some more. I'm worried that they're gonna cut off the food halfway through the game. It is kind of like halftime right now and people have jetted out of the stadium to get more food and bring it back in. Right here, another food option, Loteria. Here you can get an astounding amount of burgers. They have the bulgogi burger, they have the chicken burger, shrimp burger, fire wing chicken, and all of them at pretty reasonable prices. I don't say uh seyu burger, hago uh fire wing. So the total price for that is 17,700. That is for 10 wings and one burger. Everything is already pre-made. The food is right here. If they don't have it in that case, you don't get to have it. Yeah, so I'm not, first of all, take a look at this. This is a Seu Baga. That means shrimp burger. Shrimp burger, shrimp burger. Take a look inside. Tons of sauce, lettuce, and a fried shrimp patty. Let's go for it. It's a delicious mayonnaise fried shrimp patty. You can't even really tell it's shrimp. It just tastes like a fried hockey puck. Anything is good when you're surrounded by this much enthusiasm and when you have a little bit of a buzz. In Korea, all the baseball teams are named after big brands. LG, Samsung, Lotte. People are literally singing for Lotte. Imagine you're in the USA and you're singing McDonald's, McDonald's. It's like that. Speaking of fast food, how about this chicken? These are the fire wings. Off the bat, I can tell you this chicken was cooked a long time ago. It's quite cold and it feels like it's too wide. Like the crunchy part has separated from the muscle. Let's try it out. Is it fiery? A little fiery, it's not crispy at all. A little bit soggy because it's been hanging out. Spicy, super salty, overall satisfying. I cannot believe I'm doing a food review while 10,000 people cheer and sing in unison. What am I doing? Why am I here? Anyway, let's get some more food. Right here, we have a new type of restaurant I've not seen yet. They have like a tofu, wet, sweet skin, and they stuff rice and different stuff inside of it. You can get tuna inside, you can get kimchi inside, you can get egg inside. I'm gonna go with tuna. Anonseo, chamchi, mayo, yubu, hana juseo. Oh, and he's gonna torch it. Three pieces for 5,500. Yeah. Check it out, baseball is still happening. I'm still eating. I've not watched any of the game, if I'm honest, but the score is 2-1. Doosan is beating Lotte. Oh, come on, Lotte, you can do it. Anyways, right here, take a look at this, this beautiful, sweet, soft tofu skin used to encase what's inside here. We've got rice, and I asked for the tuna one, but I'm not sure if there's tuna in there. Let's find out. Mmm, right here. Hard to see, but on the bottom, there's definitely tuna. It tastes like sweet, sugary rice mixed with canned tuna, because that's basically what it is, although I still love it. My only criticism is that this is not a drinking food. When you're drinking beer, you don't want to be eating pounds and pounds of rice. I got to say, at this point, though, I have done more walking and more exercise than these baseball players, because I am zooming all over the place trying to find the best food they have here. All right, I'm getting full. One more round, and then I'm done. I'm running out of space, I can't eat all this food, but I can show you food that exists here. We have Korean famous, legendary corn dogs. It's like a corn dog covered in shake and bake seasoning. Very nice. And then they have a spiral cut potato that's also fried. All this costs around two, three dollars each. Not bad at all, but we're not gonna eat that. So I have enough space for one more food in my stomach and I'm going with this. This is a classic. Korean fried chicken with a Korean sauce glaze on top. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's delicious. And then this, this is tteokbokki and sausages, but it's been grilled and put on a skewer. Let's order up and eat. I just say, here they have a sauce station. We have like a cheese powder. We have ketchup, we have mustard, and then we have a chili sauce. I'm gonna put the chili on one of the chickens. I don't know if it's a mistake or not. And then I'm gonna put some here just in case. Beer Hana de sale. Look, the beer taps have little baseballs on them. Isn't that fun? Kamsamda. God, after a long day, I love apple juice. So good. One more? I should go. <laughs> this could get dangerous. We have our final course right here. I'm so excited because after this, I get to actually watch the baseball game. First of all, here, grilled sausage and duck pokey already clad in sauce. Look at these little Korean wieners. 
You can feel it's been there for a while, but you can also feel that you don't care because it's delicious. What I like the most here is tteokbokki. Tteokbokki is so versatile in Korea. They can grill it, they can boil it, they can sear it. It's so simple. But well, all the best things in life are simple. You don't need truffle and French infusions, emulsions. That's what you need. Our last and final food is right here. Now, this is the one I squirted extra sauce on. You have fried chicken and you have fried dugboki in here. Cheers. It's crunchy, it's mushy, it's chewy. It's such a satisfying texture. Guys, do yourself a favor. Go to your local Asian grocery store. Buy these pounded rice cakes. Put them in your food in some way and you'll be very satisfied. Finally, here we have this sauced up glazed chicken. It's fried, it's glorious. It's been sitting around for hours. That chicken is just like Steven Seagal. It's a bit stale, it's not crunchy anymore, but the heart is still there. It still knows Jeet Kune Do. It could still probably kick your ass in a fight. I lost the analogy somewhere. From here, we're gonna chill out, watch the rest of the game, and then tell you something very cool you should stick around for at the end of the video. Don't click away. Uh, guys, I wanna point out something insane. Korea is so safe that the gentleman who's sitting next to us here in the stadium just left to go to the bathroom and he left his cell phone out on the table. Not an accident, this happens all the time in Korea. It is that safe here. Guys, that is the end of the video. I have to say, it's so heartbreaking. The away team, the Doosans, they won, they beat the Lotte Giants. The feelings here are palpable. Just kidding, I don't I, I don't think that many people really care. Everyone left already. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you come to Korea, this is a must-do type of activity. Coming to the games is so easy. Buying tickets is so easy. It's just all about the experience. Even most of the Korean people here are not steadily watching the game focused on what's happening. They're in and out, they're buying food, they're drinking beers, they're having a great time, and that's what it's all about deep breaths. I am so stuffed. I think I might be actually pregnant in my second trimester. I have to say my favorite food from today was probably the pork trotters. Yes, the kind of jelly-ish slices of cold pork cooked meats. Otherwise, I hope you can see the unique splendor that is going to a sports game here in South Korea. Turns out you can run a whole stadium like this without charging people $18 per beer. Guys, before we go, I want to say a huge thank you to Joe right here. Without Joe, this trip would not have been possible. He has facilitated this whole shoot from beginning to end in all the locations we went to. So you can find more information on Joe here at Wandering Bicycle on YouTube and on Instagram. More information about Busan travel and delicious food that you can find here. Thank you so much, Joe. Peace. It's all right. <laughs> it feels good to say, all yeah. right? Satisfying. Joe hates my show. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I, I hate you. <laughs> cool. Elevate your style with our brand new clothing collection. Rock out in our threads, feel the thrill of culinary adventures, and celebrate with us in style. Head on over to befers.shop today.